far as Gujarat is concerned and Prime Minister Narendra Modi has now taken to Twitter to thank the voters of Gujarat and of Himachal Pradesh as well. Not only is he thanking the people of Gujarat for the historic mandate that has come to the fore as far as this election goes, he's also thanked the people of Himachal Pradesh for the affection and support that came forward to the BJP. Remember, for the longest time this morning, it was a neck-and-neck -neck battle in Himachal. There is a... Now a lead for an edge for the Congress party, but it was a neck and neck fight, a cliffhanger until about 12 noon this afternoon. Anshul, my colleague, now joins us from the BJP headquarters in the national capital here. And Anshul, in just a few uh, hours from now, perhaps an hour and a half or so, is when the Prime Minister is going to be arriving there. We are going to see a victory lap. Have supporters, have karikartas already started coming there? Uh, well, yes, I'll just move out of the frame and show you that the entire BJP office is absolutely, absolutely jam-packed. And we have just got that tweet from the P Prime Minister where he has come out and thanked the Karakartas for the immense effort that they have put in in all the three elections, be it the MCD elections, be it the uh, Gujarat elections or the Himachal elections. And if you see the entire entire BJP forecourt is now jam-packed. All they are waiting for is the poster boy, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, to come out here and address them over here. And, uh, and also a very crucial thing that is going to happen, which is going to be very, very interesting, is the statement that would be made by the party president, J.P. Nadda, because he's going to give a vision to these workers who have come here, uh, come here to hear from the president himself as to wh where does he think that the BJP sh should go from here. Because, yes, the BJP has lost the uh, MCD elections, although it was a very, very tough election. Secondly, they lost the Himachal elections. It was also a very, very close, close fight and a cliffhanger, at least for the initial seven to eight hours. So, yes, what is the message that uh, J.P. Nadda is going to give to these workers and what is the message that the Prime Minister is going to give to these workers? That is going to be very, very crucial. But, yes, on the other hand, the involvement is absolutely, absolutely ecstatic because the manner in which the BJP has gone ahead and won these elections in Gujarat in the historic mandate that they have got in Gujarat is definitely something to celebrate upon. And today is going to be that day that this victory would be celebrated by the top brass of the BJP along with the workers of the BJP. So yes, in the next few hours we are expecting that the Prime Minister would come over here. The expected time from Prime Minister to reach over here is, is at around 6.30 p.m. And around 7 p.m. is the time when the PM would address this crowd who is now waiting eagerly for the Prime Minister to come out here and speak to them. And if you could see the poster that is right behind me, the poster also says, uh, Gujarat, Himachal Pradesh or Delhi ki janta ko hardik dhanyavad. So they also want, the, this is the message that the BJP is trying to give out to, the, to their workers to not get disheartened. They tried their best, they fought their best and the, even the elections they lost, those elections were very closely fought and the margins were very, very close. So yes, this is the kind of message that the BJP is trying to give to the workers. Mind you, it's just 5:10 uh, at 6:30 is when we are expecting the prime minister to come there, and yet the mood is extremely jubilant as expected there at the BJP headquarters here in the national capital. It is a historic victory for any party to return to power after 27 years in governance. There is no anti-incumbency. There is pro-incumbency, as the BJP says, and that is what we are seeing in Gujarat today. BJP spokesperson Charu.